Hi, Dave Klappenberger, Klappenberger & Son Painting. Today we're gonna to take a look at a couple Benjamin Moore products. We are gonna take a look at the Regal Select. It retails for 65 bucks, and the Benjamin Moore Ben, which retails for 45 bucks, about $20 difference. We're gonna look at five things in this paint. We're gonna look at does it self-level as it dries? Or can you see the roller marks, the brush marks, and things like that? Um, how well does it cover? How well is it, is it easy to work with? Does it stick, does it drag? What's the washability? Can it get off stains? And what's the durability? After we do clean it, what's the condition of the paint job? Those are, I think, five really important things to know about a paint, especially when, when you're spending 65 or 45 dollars a gallon. Well. We, we have applied two gallons of the Regal Select, and I can tell you this right now, the coverage was fantastic. I give it a 10 out of 10, and the workability was very good as well. The first coat just glided right on. I just, it was just a pleasure to work with. I gave it a nine out of 10 because I have had smoother paints, but it was very good. And the second coat had a little bit of stickiness on top of each other. So it's still easy to work with, but I gave it an overall score of eight and a half out of 10. The Benjamin Moore Ben, on the other hand, it covered super well, just like the Select did. It covered very, very well. The, however, part of it is the workability of the paint was difficult. It dragged, it was, it was slow to apply it. Um, I, ha I used a, one generous dip of the brush and I can only really brush about 14 inches and it's slow. But there is a solution to it and that is adding a latex conditioner. The la a latex conditioner, also known, known as an extender, you add that into the paint, about six ounces of it, and it improves three things. It improves the spreadability immensely. It just, instead of just being able to do 14 inches, I was literally able to do 28 inches with one dip of a brush. So it's gonna speed up the time. It's gonna make it a lot funner to work with or easier to work with, more enjoyable to work with if you don't enjoy painting, which most people do. And it also self-levels. Check out these two comparisons, one with extender, one without extender. Wow, what a difference. So I definitely would recommend using this. If you're painting kitchen cabinets, or a mantle, or a front door, where you really want it to be as smooth as possible. And the other thing the extender does is it extends the drying time. So if you do are painting a door such as this panel and you find out you missed a spot, you can go back and touch up that spot at, for a longer period of time than you, than you would have otherwise without the extender. So it allows you to correct things without breaking the sheen of the paint. Let's take a look at the washability and durability of each semi-gloss paint. On both of these doors, we put on ketchup, mustard, wine, coffee, coffee grounds, pencil, and crayon. The crud cutter is what we use to clean because this is what we test to clean with all of the paints that we test. Though the stains came off uh, very easily with the Regal, except for the mustard stains, um, it also softened up the paint a little bit and you can see a little bit of paint on the rag. On the Benjamin Moore Ben, the results were worse. The crud cutter did a quicker job of softening up the paint and having the paint peel and come off easily. The mustard stains stayed on as well. Many other paints hold up using crud cutter, so there's something in the chemicals of the paint at Benjamin Moore that make it react poorly with crud cutter. All right, let's review these two Benjamin Moore semi-glosses. The Regal coming up first, its durability and washability was good, but if you use crud cutter or simple green, it really softens up the surface um, and it has some issues with that. So I would not really use those products unless you were just going to do a quick wipe and not any type of um, repeated applications of it because it does soften it up. It's self-leveling was a nine. The paint self-leveled self very well. The coverage was a 10. Again, if something covers in two coats, it gets a 10 automatically. The workability of this paint is very good. The second coat dragged a little bit more than the first coat. The first coat was a breeze. You'll still have no 
problem using this paint. Now this Regal retails for 65 bucks. It's overall value uh, for a $65 paint that is a little lacking in the washability and durability department. I gave it a B, it's a good paint. It's been around forever. Everybody buys it. I like using the paint. It does cover well. Um, and so it gets a B. The Benjamin Moore Ben, on the other hand, had hideous washability and dur durability. I mean, it, it, it couldn't get rid of the stains and the paint loosens up with either simple green or crud cutter. Both of those soften up the paint. The self-leveling was, was good. It wasn't anything to write home about, but I gave it an eight out of 10. The coverage was a 10 out of 10. If it covers in two coats, it gets a 10. It's covered in two coats. And the workability was the most difficult semi-gloss that I, I can ever remember using. But if you add a latex extender, it really covers nicely. It really has a nice workability to it, and it really self-levels. So if you do get the Benjamin Moore Ben, make sure you pick up a bottle of that extender, and you'll be you'll be writing me thank you notes. Hey, speaking of which, if you like this video, if you got something good out of it, if you give us a like, Google appreciates it. We appreciate it. Everybody appreciates it. Um, but overall, I'm giving the Benjamin Moore Ben a D. I, I've never seen semi-glosses with such poor washability as this one. So that is the video. That is the review. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.